This is the solution to x 071. Okay, so uh, the the stuff that you need to know uh, to to answer this question is uh, you need to know what uh, the plots. Of uh, these thing, what uh, the plots of what these things look like. So, uh, in the first place, uh, exponential of x uh, looks like this. So this is a uh, y is exponential of x. <coughs> Uh, now, we we didn't use this this one in uh, <clears throat> in uh, in the exercise, but uh, you know I to help you understand what's happening here, this will be exponential of negative x. So the question is, uh, you know, if this is exponential of x, that's what it looks like. What uh, effect does uh, negating the x do? And uh, what that is, is that's a reflection across uh, y is x. So the result uh, will look like this. <coughs> you know, so this uh, you know, goes both ways. <coughs> okay, so it's a reflection. Uh, then, <coughs> another thing uh, that uh, is helpful to understand uh, about this is that uh, here's another one that uh, we weren't uh, that we weren't uh, asked to find. And uh, what if we do? Um, <coughs> Uh, what if we consider uh, y is the exponential of um, x minus 4? So the question is, is that, uh, you know, from here to here, that's negating the x, that's a, that, that's a reflection. From here to here, this is uh, subtracting 4 uh, from the x. And the question is, is uh, you know, what is that, what, what effect does that achieve? So uh, to make it clear what's happening, uh, I'll mark this green point. So that green point is there. And uh, because that's a reflection, this green point is here, right there. And uh, the effect of uh, subtracting 4 from the x is going to be to move that green point 4 uh, units to the right. So this is x is 4. <coughs> Uh, so, this uh, green point will be here. Like that. Uh, and then, uh, finally, you know, we can ask, uh, well, how about... Uh, How about, uh, you know, what if we, um, erase this. Uh, what if we uh, now do this? We say uh, y is uh, exponential of negative x minus 4. And of course, uh, that's exactly equal to um, that one. So that'd be a negative x plus 4, like that, distributing the negative. <coughs> so uh, what this is going to do is it's uh, going to cause a reflection now. But uh, instead of the reflection, uh, instead of the reflection being um, across the x-axis, it'll be uh, 
across four there. You can, uh, you can see why, algebraically, why this must be true because, uh, uh, like for example on this one, well even for this one, when you plug in uh, x is 0 you get uh, 1, and uh, again for this one when you plug in x is 0 you get 1. Uh, for this one when you plug in x is 4, you get uh, 4 minus 4 which is 0, and that's why that's 1, and for this one uh, when you plug in x is 4, uh, you get uh, the exponential of 0, which is 1, so it uh, looks like that. So, uh, you could have figured uh, these out by just plotting some points, or you could be familiar with uh, those uh, graph transformations. Okay, so as a result, uh, as a result, uh, to give a sketch <coughs> in part A, Now that we know uh, what that one looks like and uh, what that one looks like, uh, I'll draw a big, biggish uh, sketch here. <coughs> here is uh, x is 4. Increasing exponential is going to be 1 at that point, and the decreasing exponential is going to be 1 at that point. Uh, I'm going to draw them kind of relaxed looking so that the drawing is easy to, easier to interpret. So this one uh, goes up. So that's uh, the exponential of x. And uh, then we've got to <coughs> the other one. And this would be uh, this, this one over here is uh, that one. Uh, exponential of negative x plus 4. <coughs> Okay, so uh, what we uh, need to figure out is uh, we need to we need to find um, uh, that location. So this one is x equal to zero, and this one is x equal to four. Uh, so we need to find. that intersection. So that we know its location. So, you know, uh, that means that uh, we need to solve an equation. equation that we're going to solve, you know, looks like this. It's uh, we need to say, well, the one exponential uh, is equal to uh, the other exponential. So the equation uh, is going to look like that. Uh, so that means we need to solve exponential of x is uh, <coughs> exponential of uh, of uh, negative x. Plus four, like that. Uh, so there's a lot of ways to go about doing it, but I'll do it like this. 
uh, well, no, 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 here, you, you, even easier, is that uh, because, uh, because the exponentials are, uh, are injective, because they're one-to-one, -one, that means that, uh, this, that uh, this must be true. Because the exponential of x is the exponential of negative x plus 4, that means that x uh, must be negative x plus 4. Alternatively, you can think of it, think of that as uh, computing the natural log of both sides. Okay, so now I'll add x to both sides, and uh, we get uh, 2x is uh, 4, and therefore x is uh, 2. So that's uh, telling us <coughs> that uh, that intersection there is uh, x is 2. And then now, finally, uh, we can consider these. Uh, this uh, four is just was just there to help us draw. Uh, this uh, two was just there to help us figure out where to put uh, this. X is three. So. This is uh, x is three here. And so the, uh, the, the actual region, uh, the region that uh, we want, it says uh, between the two exponentials and uh, between those uh, x is 0 and x is 3. So this is the uh, region. And uh, this part. So uh, that's the, the region. That's the answer to part A. And then uh, for part B, uh, for part B, uh, the thing that uh, you need to understand about uh, this is that uh, integral is signed area. That means that uh, what integral uh, calculates, it, it, it calculates uh, uh, an area, but uh, it has a, a sign uh, associated with it. Now, uh, if we were to do, <coughs> if we were to do uh, the, the integral uh, and just do it like this. So integral uh, 0 to 3. And uh, if we were to do this, so uh, yeah, let me uh, I'm gonna draw this one in green here. So then, uh, if we were to do uh, this one, subtract this one, so if we do that, uh, that would mean that uh, the area that's shaped like this So this, this is green, and this part red. So that would mean that, uh, that this one would be accounted uh, negatively, and uh, this one, <coughs> the one that's uh, shaped like uh, the other way, This one would be accounted uh, positively. Uh, whereas if we were to do it in the other order, integral 0 to 3, <coughs> uh, and if we were to do the green one, subtract 
the red one. Uh, that would mean uh, that the roles would be reversed. That that would mean that uh, that uh, the one that's shaped like this. <coughs> This one would be counted positively. And uh, the one shaped like this would uh, be counted uh, negatively. But uh, the way the question is saying is saying uh, we just want the area of R. Well, that means uh, that means the unsigned area. So we want the unsigned area. Well, uh, the way to get it is uh, you you integrate zero to three now. <coughs> Zero to three, and uh, we can choose either one. Uh, you know, so I'll just uh, choose the first one. So uh, the red subtract the green. And uh, the what we want is we want it to be the case that uh, the green one, uh, the the. Uh, the little piece on the left there. We want uh, it to be counted positively, and uh, we also want uh, the one, the piece on the right, to be counted uh, positively. And uh, the way that you uh, make that happen is that uh, you take either one of these, instead of using parentheses, you use absolute value. <coughs> so, uh, the absolute value uh, causes both of them to be reckoned positive. But, uh, you know, the issue with that uh, is that uh, using absolute value is that uh, n then we can't uh, use the fundamental theorem of calculus directly. So as a result, we've kind of, you know, got to understand these two things and then break the integral into pieces so that uh, we get uh, just that piece and uh, the positive bit and another integral that gives us just that piece, the positive bit. So as a result, we'll take this and say, okay, well, uh, for, for the left piece, for that one, uh, we want to use uh, green minus red. So that would be integral 0 to 2. So 0 to 2, and then uh, we'll do green minus red. So that gives us the positive version of that piece there. And uh, then <coughs> we'll do integral uh, 2 to 3. And uh, now we'll do red minus green.
So now, uh, that means that uh, doing it uh, like this, we get uh, the positive version of uh, that piece and uh, the positive version of that piece. Now the rest of it is just a relatively boring calculation. So that would be integral uh, 0 to 2. Uh, so green minus red. So that would be exponential of negative x plus 4. Subtract exponential of x dx. And then plus integral 2 to 3 exponential of x, subtract exponential of negative x plus 4, dx. Uh, this is now a relatively straightforward application of the fundamental theorem. So, uh, all right. So as for this one, it's, uh, it's antiderivative. <coughs> it's negative exponential of negative x plus 4, and then subtract exponential of x, uh, evaluated from 0 to 2, and then uh, add uh, exponential of x, uh, and then subtract negative exponential of negative x plus 4. So uh, I did a, uh, you know, remember that uh, when you're doing, uh, when you're using this antiderivative exponential of x dx, of course, uh, that's one of the ones we know, and it's uh, exponential of x plus a constant. But, uh, you know, this is just a stand-in for a whole family of antiderivatives you should uh, memorize. So the exponential of uh, kx, where k is, where k is a, a, a non-zero constant, this is a exponential of kx over k plus a constant. So that, uh, that negative there, I divided by negative 1. But uh, dividing by negative 1 is the same as multiplying by negative 1. All right. So a little bit of simplification before I plug in. Uh, I'll note uh, that uh, as for this one, uh, I can factor out a negative. So then it would be uh, exponential of negative x plus 4, and then add exponential of x from 0 to 2, and uh, <coughs> plus those negatives in there cancel, so this would be exponential of x, add exponential of uh, negative x plus 4 from 2 to 3, and then uh, I'll get rid of uh, that, uh, that negative there by changing the order of the boundary evaluation. And I'll go ahead and commute these to be in the same order as those. So exponential of x add exponential of negative x plus 4 from, and now I'm going to write these in red so you don't uh, miss what it was that I did. So 2 to 0. Changing the order uh, allows me to cancel out that uh, negative there. Uh, so then plus exponential of x plus uh, exponential of negative x plus 4, like so. And then uh, 2 to 3. All right, so now it's just a matter of plugging in. <coughs> All right, so plugging in uh, 0. Uh, that's... Uh, well, that's going to be 1. So 1 plus uh, the exponential of 4. And then subtract uh, exponential of 2 uh, 
plus the exponential of 2. Plus, uh, plugging that in, that's the exponential of 3. Uh, plus the exponential of 1. And then subtract. Uh, exponential of 2. Plus the exponential of 2. And then combining all that together, uh, the answer is, so that it'd be, uh, well, exponential of 4 uh, plus the exponential of 3 and then 1, 2, subtracting 2 of those and then subtracting 2 more, so minus uh, 4 exponential of 2 so I've used up the 4's, the 2's, uh, the 3's, so now I've got an exponential of 1, so then now add exponential of 1, and then uh, a 1, which is exponential of 0. Beautiful.